Instagram hashtags, love them or hate them, but they can help your content to reach new audiences when they are used in the right way. However, there's a lot of conversation at the moment around hashtag usage and how many you should actually be posting in order to get the best results. And this latest update is very conflicting to what was actually announced only a couple of months ago. So in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you the new update, what this means and my very own take on it and what I'm gonna be doing moving forward, which I think you should do too. For those of you who are new to my channel, my name is Leah Buckingham and I'm a multi-award winning social media and business performance coach and I help ambitious business owners and entrepreneurs just like yourself to position themselves online as a go-to authority in their own industry so that they can have more impact, income and freedom in their lives. If you'd like to see my weekly trainings, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Okay, so... This week there has been a new announcement on Instagram's very own creator account on tips for using hashtags, which has sparked a lot of conversation and confusion. In the carousel video post, they list out the up-to-date do's and don'ts. So let's get into it. The first bit of advice and information I would say is not new news at all. So the first one is telling you to use hashtags that are relevant to the theme of your content, which is pretty standard because in order to show your content to the right types of people you are looking to attract and engage with in order to get the right results with your account, it's absolutely paramount that you use hashtags that are related to your content and that's niche specific. And then check in which hashtags your fans already use and follow is also pretty straightforward as a do. And it makes sense because you are going to be wanting to, you know, to show up in what they're actually searching for. And then saying to mix well-known and niche hashtags to broaden your discoverability is also nothing new or groundbreaking as that's what everyone has been saying from the start, no matter how many hashtags that you're using. So it's important to mix up the size of your hashtags without going too broad and the types of hashtags. So including location-based and community type hashtags too, in order to ensure that you get the most possible chance of your content being found in search. And then they go on to say, do use specific hashtags so your fans can easily search for your content and you can even create your own. And again, you know, this is stressing the importance of niching down on your hashtags so Instagram knows exactly who to show your content to. And creating your own branded hashtags can work very well too when you or your brand becomes known for those particular hashtags. Okay. So these do so far are nothing groundbreaking, but offer good solid advice on what you should be doing with your hashtags to get the best overall success with them. So now we come on to their final point of what you should be doing. And this is what is causing confusion with people. The final point here is do keep the number of hashtags between three to five. Now we all know we can have up to 30 hashtags per post and a strategy of using all 30 as long as they are targeted and niched to your content and industry was a strategy well recommended in the past. Then just a couple of months ago, we had another announcement that said you only needed to use eight to 15 hashtags per post with 11 hashtags being the sweet spot. Now the understanding here was that too many hashtags, if not targeted enough, would confuse the algorithm and possibly not get your content in front of the right people that you intended. So going smaller with a number of hashtags and being more specific was the way to go. And so then now with this week's announcement of only using three to five hashtags is very confusing and contradictory to what was announced only a few weeks back. And also trying to implement all of the do's that they have suggested in this post with only using three to five hashtags per post could be very hard task to actually achieve. So let's continue to look at the post and see what don'ts are there. So the first don't is don't use hashtags that have nothing to do with your content. So yes, that's, you know, it's common sense because you don't want your content to be found under a random hashtag because that will not only do your content, you know, it won't do your content or your account any favors in the future. So then they also say, don't use overly generic hashtags as these will make it harder for people to discover your content due to the volume of other people using the hashtag. 
So yes, that coincides with their do's because yes, you need a mixture of hashtags, but too large and generic, your post will potentially get lost and it won't be shown to your true target audience that you actually want. Okay, so the last don't is also very contradictory because it is saying don't use too many hashtags. Adding 10 to 20 hashtags per post, it says will help not help you to get additional di distribution. Now, a couple of months ago, we were told we should be using eight to 15 with 11 hashtags being the sweet spot. And if we use 10 to 20 that fulfilled all the do's in this post that we discussed in the beginning, then surely using this many would get us the additional distribution compared to only using three to five super targeted hashtags, which is a very small number. So you can understand why everyone is confused and up in the air about this latest announcement. So what should we do? Okay, well, I just want to bring your attention to the final part to this carousel post where they say things to keep in mind. So here they are saying the content itself and the way people interact with it can affect distribution more than the hashtag. So this is saying that it's actually the content and the quality of it plus the engagement that the post gets that can be more important than the hashtags themselves. And it's these factors that will influence more of the reach of your post. So we really need to continue focusing on providing quality content to our audience and engaging with them to build a strong, loyal community. And they go on to say, think of, a hashtag as, think of hashtags as a tool that provides context about your post and supports delivering content to people who are interested in a particular topic. So as we've seen with new features and developments of Instagram, it has become more of a search engine with keywords as well as hashtags playing a big part. So when you are creating your content, you need to be thinking about all of these things and use really targeted hashtags as a tool to help the algorithm to show it to these people. Now, I'm sure this is not going to be the end of the discussion or the conversation or any announcements around hashtags. And I'm going to be sharing with you what I'm going to do with this. So when we first got the announcement a couple of months ago saying to use 8 to 15 hashtags, I've been experimenting with creating posts using all 30 hashtags and creating posts with using 8 to 15 and comparing my results. And I've been encouraging my audience and my students to do exactly the same. Experiment with it and see what is working for your own audience. And you know what? People so far have been getting very different results depending on their audience and their actual industry. And so with this latest update, I'm also gonna be experimenting, creating posts that use three to five hashtags and see what results I get. And I encourage you to do the same. It's really important to work out what is working for your own account and your own audience, which requires testing things out. So like I say, this certainly is not the end of a discussion and I will keep you updated with what I discover. And I would love to hear what you think about this latest announcements on hashtags. So please do let me know in the comments and also let me know what else you need help with when it comes to your social media marketing.